Good morning. We're pulling up on our new job site for Old South Barns. Come on back here. I want you to see what we got on the trailer this morning. We got a new project that we're fixing to do. This is a little different than what we normally do at Old South Barns. This is not going to be a barn. It's not going to be a shed. It's not even going to be a farm project as such. But all of this wood, this is rough sawn sawmill lumber that's going to be part of our roof system on this project. It's going to be a timber frame roof. So we got about 40 feet of porch to build and then the timber frame will go up. We want to take a moment to tell you how we're fixing to join uh, these posts to our top beam that's going to hold the rafters on. A little different method, but it's the same thing as what they used to do many years ago. But this time we're using a mechanical fastener in the form of a piece of plate. Uh, we have drilled down through the post and installed a one inch dried oak peg all the way through the post. Draw knife. The, what we're trying to do is, is pull just a little bit of material off so it fits just a little bit better. Zoom in right here and we'll show you what this looks like using a draw knife. Take just a minute to show you a new technique that we're doing on this job. There, there are many ways of accomplishing the same thing, it's just all in how you want to do it. But we've chosen this method on this job just to highlight that the fact there are different ways of doing things. You notice on the, the end of this log, which is the top of the post, uh, we have put a mortise in here. Now, a hundred years ago, Traditionally, you would use a wood chisel uh, and actually mortise uh, these pockets in like this. And a lot of times on our building sites, we would take our electric chain mortiser and do the same thing. But we wanted to do something different just for the fun of it sometime. I made a template up uh, of the width and length of the pocket mortise that we need on the top of these posts. And it's a matter of finding the center line on the post, putting the jig on there in the correct place, and now we've got a jig that we can ride our router around. We've got a, a nice flat bottom, flat sides, uh, a good uh, mortise that is true and is square to the piece. Good morning here at Old South Barnes. I want to show you our timber frame ports that we've been working on. Pan over here and I'll show you what we got going on. We got a bent that we've constructed. We have mortise and tendon this beam into the post. We run wood pegs in. Up here we mortise and tendon using a new style that we're using a metal plate, run our pegs through. And if you'll notice, we've got a big three by six rafter coming all the way down that cantilevers over the side to give an excellent overhang. charm of old school, you've got the charm 
of an old look that uh, you just can't find anywhere else. South Barn. We're going to show you our finished up project we just got done with now. This is our timber frame porch. You'll notice we got our big timbers that we cut in half on our sawmill to build our steps. We got our mortise and tenon vents up here. This is 20 foot from that side to that side, 20 foot from the center back over, giving you a 40 by 15 porch, all timber frame. If you'll notice underneath, we put half inch boards under the roof system to give a nice view when you look up from the bottom of the porch. Well, thanks for joining us and thanks for watching this video and continue to follow us at OldSouthBarns.com.